Moving on to the next topic, equation of line in a space. Ipo or space la or line rukhu. Nama enda line na pati pesi rukhu. We are talking about this particular AP. Okay. So in the AP or the equation na nama yebdi kanu prikupo rong. We are going to represent that to be. So basically nama ray vector ena teriyo. You know that OA plus AP is going to give me OP. Correcta adha inge jirke. OA plus AP is going to give me OP. So idhik nama kurti rukhu terms la ena. So AP is going to be OP minus A. And my AP is going to be lambda B and OP is going to be R and OA is going to be A. So, if we say AP is lambda B, we are going to take some line B which is parallel to AP. So, you know that AP is going to be parallel to B. We are taking a line that is parallel to the vector AP. So, in this case, parallel lines can they are going to be proportional with a constant lambda. So, that is the proportionality constant lambda. So, our equation is in vector form. It is simply going to be lambda b equals r minus a. இதன் யாப் வச்சிட்டா போதும். vector formல என்ன? lambda b equals r minus a. Okay? Now, in Cartesian form, Cartesian formல என்ன இருக்கு போது? You have your r which is going to be x, y, z. Okay? First, இதலான் யாப் வச்சுக்கோங்க. r என்ன? It is going to be x, y, z. Okay? Which is going to be over here. x, y, z. Okay? Then, a is going to be x1, y1, z1. So, அதுவும் திரும்ம நியுமரேட்டில் வரப் போது. So, x1, y1, z1. Okay? So, a இருக்கு. And b is going to be a, b, c. So, these are all going to be my direction ratios. Okay? For b vector and b vector is going to be a, b and c. So, a, b, c of b and the, they are going to be the direction ratios. Correct? That is the denominator. So, the denominator is the direction ratio. Numerator is the x1, y1, z1 which are the coordinates of a. So, this is the two issues. Lambda b equals r minus a. And this is going to be the same equation in a Cartesian form. Okay? So, this is going to be equation of line in space. Let us solve an example. You will understand it better. If you find the vector and the Cartesian equations of the line. So, vector form is going to be Cartesian form. Through the point 5, 2, 4. Through the point we are talking about the A vector which is going to be 5i cap plus 2j cap minus 4k cap. A vector is going to be points we are talking about x1 equals 5 y1 equals 2 and z1 equals minus 4. Purida, in the earth, a na na we are talking about this particular point. In the earth, in the position vector is going to be a na. a oda points enna varak pode, it is going to be x1, y1, z1. Okay, so idha na maldhro. So a area chhe. And what is going to be my b, which is parallel to the vector. Parallel na we are talking about b, which is going to be 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 8k cap. So the Components of this particular i, j, k are going to be our direction ratios. So, a equals 3, b equals 2 and c equals 8. Okay. So, if first vector form. Vector form, the equation is going to be lambda b equals r minus a. Correct? Here we go. b is going to be the parallel vector and the equation is going to be lambda b equals r minus a. I need to find out what my r is which is going to be lambda b plus a, okay, now we have to substitute the value, so lambda times b is 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 8k cap plus a is going to be 5i cap plus 2j cap minus 4k cap. Now i, j, k terms, I have i times 3 lambda plus 5 plus j times 2 lambda plus 2 plus k times minus 8 lambda minus 4. So, this is going to be my vector r in the vector form, okay. Now, what do we call this? Cartesian equation. So, what do we call this? So, Cartesian form is going to be x minus x1 divided by a equals y minus y1 divided by b equals z minus z1 divided by c. So, in this case, x, y, z already values are there. So, I have x1, y1, z1 values are already there. And a, b, c, the direction ratios are also already there. So, this value is simple to substitute. So, x minus 5 divided by 3 equals y minus 2 divided by 2 equals z minus of minus 4 is z plus 4 divided by 8. c is going to be minus 8. Okay, in that pay attention, c is going to be minus 8. Okay, please copy. Now, next topic is going to be angle between two lines. If an angle is in this way, there are two lines. So, I have two different lines and the angle is going to be cos theta. In the cos theta, I will represent the angle. For line L1, I have the direction ratios to be A1, B1, C1. That is what I mean. So, L1 is basically of the form A1, I cap plus B1, J cap plus C1, K cap. And line 2 is of the form A2, I cap plus B2, J cap plus C2, 
k cap so these are all the direction ratios so direction ratios are a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 the formula that you need to remember is cos theta equals a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by square root of a square a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay the formula is in the last page la consolidate panni ezhudirken adhiyum paarenga okay and sin theta is going to be 1 minus cos square theta so in the formula varapodu okay idhula endendha idhala nyabam vechukonu na solren so ipo nama collinearity paathom la so we basically proved that the ratio a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 is going to be 1 okay so this is going to be some lambda provided theta equal 0 ena parallel okay collinear na enna they are going to be parallel with an angle of 0 degree idhe perpendicular na theta is going to be 90 so cos 90 is going to be 0 so i prove that only my numerator a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 equal 0 okay so in the edathla basically theta equal 0 and theta equal 90 substitute pandren okay so idhu vandu direction ratio vachu paathaachu but direction cosines vachu eppadi pannuvom l1 m1 n1 idhu dhaan first line ku second line ku l2 m2 n2 cos alpha cos beta cos gamma so this is again of the form cos theta equals l1 l2 m1 m2 n1 n2 so l m n 1 2 1 2 1 2 idu cos theta sin theta ku epdi na pochukirudhu l m m n n l okay idu da form here you have 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 in the edathula or minus irukku okay so ivula da na pochukono please remember this is the formula that we are going to use so ipo idhe cartesian formula epdi irukku podu now we find the angle between the two lines so enna enna rendu line irukku you have r equals a1 plus lambda b1 in the edathula rendu line me intersecting so they have two different parallel lines so line 1 ku b1 parallel line 2 ku b2 is the vector that is parallel okay and you have a1 and a2 two different points from the position vector and lambda or case mu in or case because they are parallel lines the cos between them is going to be b1 b2 adoda dot product divided by the magnitude of b1 b2 okay and the cartesian form is going to be simple in that la rendu different point irukiradnala you are going to take x minus x1 divided by a1 y minus y1 divided by b1 z minus z1 divided by c1 adhe mari inga a2 b2 c2 okay so two different direction ratios two different lines so two different equations or or line ku or or equation okay so first one is for line 1 and the second one is for line 2 okay example 7 find the angle between the pair of lines given by r equals rendu equation kuduthirukan so this let this be line 1 and let this be line 2 okay so for line 1 it is of the form r equals a1 plus lambda b1 okay so this is of the form so a1 enna idilende i have 3 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 4 k cap and b1 is going to be i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap so a1 b1 kandupidichaachu now for line 2 i have r equals a2 plus lambda b2 and what is my a2 phi i cap minus 2 j cap plus 0 k cap k cap illa okay and b2 b2 is going to be 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 6 k cap ipo b1 b2 namak enna theriyum cos enna padichom ipo dhaan cos theta equals b1 dot b2 divided by magnitude of b1 b2 so cos theta equals b1 dot b2 divided by magnitude of b1 magnitude of b2 the whole magnitude okay ipo b1 b2 oda dot product edukalama so i have b1 dot b2 equals I have to multiply 1 into 3 dot product epdi theriy edukonu nyabam irukla 1 into 3 plus 2 into 2 plus what is the last term 2 into 6 okay so 2 into 6 this is going to be 3 plus 4 plus 12 7 plus 12 is going to be 19 so the dot product is going to be 19 and the magnitude of b magnitude of b1 is going to be square root of first thing enna irukke i have 1 square plus 2 square Plus two square, which is going to be square root of one plus four plus four, which is square root of nine, which is three. इधर हमारी magnitude of b two is going to be in the particular equation. So square root of three square plus two square plus six square, which is going to be square root of nine plus four plus thirty six. So thirty six plus four is forty. Root forty nine, which is seven. So cos theta है ना इधर लेंदे. So cos theta equals the dot product nineteen divided by three into seven inside the modulus inside the absolute value and this is going to be 19 divided by 21 so idhil end theta na this is going to be cos inverse of 19 divided by 21 avula da enna equation kuduthirukku adu endha form la irukku cos theta ku enna formula avula da idhala apply panna you can get the answer okay 
So, now this is the vector form. What about this particular form? Find the angle between the lines, between the pair of lines. So, this is going to be line 1 and this is going to be line 2. If a line 1, general equation in a formula, x minus x1 divided by a1 equals y minus y1 divided by b2, sorry, b1 equals z minus z1 divided by c1. So, this is the I see that my x1 is going to be minus 3, x2 is going to be 1 and x3 is going to be minus 3. So, this is the coordinates. It is going to be a1 vector which is going to be minus 3 i cap plus j cap minus 3 k cap. So, a1 is going to be a1 equals 3, B1 equals 5 and C1 equals 4. This is the direction ratios of the line B, B or B vector order direction ratio. So, 3 I cap plus 5 J cap. This is B1 plus 4 K cap. Now, line 1 is going to be What is for line 2? It is again of the form X minus X2 divided by A2 equals Y minus Y2 divided by B2 equals z minus z2 divided by c2. Correct? So, this is what are my a2 values? a1, x1, y1, z1, we have to find the angle. Okay? First question is to reference. What is my a2 going to be? 1. Then b2 is again going to be 1. And c2 is going to be 2. So, this is I find that my b2 is going to be 1 i cap plus 1 j cap plus 2 k cap. And now, my cos theta is going to be pona question marie b1 dot b2 divided by magnitude of b1, magnitude of b2, the whole magnitude. So, what is my b1 dot b2? This is going to be 3 into 1 plus 5 into 1 plus 4 into 2. Correct? Huh? So, this is going to be 3 into 1 plus 5 into 1 plus 4 into 2. This when I add, I have 3 plus 5 plus 4 twos are 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. So, b1 dot b2 is going to be 16 and Magnitude of B1 is going to be square root of this particular line. So, 3 square, 5 square, 4 square. So, square root of 9 plus 25 plus 16. 9 plus 16, 25. 25, 25 is going to be root 50. So, root 50 can be written as 2 into 25, which I can further simplify and write it as 5 root 2. If I say B2 and magnitude of B2 is going to be this particular line. So, it is going to be square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square, which is square root of 1 plus 1 plus 4 which is 4 5 6 so square root of 6 okay now my cos theta is going to be b1 b2 which is 16 divided by 5 times root 2 times root 6 inside the absolute value so this is going to be 16 divided by denominator la root 6 irke. so 5 root 2 root 6 can be written as root 2 into root 3 so this i can further write it as 16 divided by 10 root 3 i can cancel this so 2 5s are 2 8s are so i have 8 by 5 times root 3. Okay, please copy.